event at Mission Viejo High School where practice has just ended. Uh, it is the week of the semifinals, and so now you you both now face the finals or you face a chance to get into the finals by facing Modern Day. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a matchup that I know you want it. It's probably the matchup they want it. Mm -hmm. It's probably the matchup that everybody wanted to see and, and, and go with. So here we are. We go Friday night. We're in between things with Thanksgiving, kind of breaks up the week a little bit, and that's all good. But I'm here now with two of Mission Viejo's top players, Elijah Griffin and Akili Arnold. And uh, Akili, we'll talk a little bit here in a second. I want to talk to Elijah a little bit as well, too. But let me let me start with you, Akili. I've watched a couple games now, uh, been present at a couple of games. I think your postseason presence has been outstanding. Your full season ability has been fantastic. You've run for over 1,400 yards. Uh, you're playing on both sides of the ball. But particularly now in the playoffs, I've seen that you've had quite an exceptional time running the football. How important is that for you guys coming into this game on Friday in terms of you being able to establish a run game? Um, I think it's going to be a big part of the game because uh, if we don't, if our pass game doesn't work out, then I get, we have to run. So, I mean, it's going to be me and Easton. So, I think it will be fine. You've got a uh, you've got a number one team that you face, number one in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, obviously, defensively, they've got some top statistics as well too. What is it going to be the key to you guys getting to that defense come Friday night? Um, just to kick out their linebackers, honestly, because I think we're going to go up the middle, and I think we'll be fine. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Okay, excellent. Elijah, coming in here, and I want to talk to you. Obviously, you're a major factor in both sides of the ball, but certainly let's talk defensively a little bit because we talked to Akili about offense. Defensively, you face as big a test as you could possibly face, and they've got guys that can catch the ball all over the field. You're one guy. You can't stop everybody, but what will be the most important thing that you guys can do defensively to slow this, this football team down, this modern-day football team down? I mean, just to stop the pass. You know, just we just got to work hard and just try to shut down all the receivers and uh, just work hard and just shut them down. And there's no doubt that you guys can match up. You guys got enough guys to match up one-on-one -on -one with anybody, I think, in the country. I've seen you, and I know you believe that as well, too. Uh, when modern day, what's the, what's the advantage to you guys playing at home and getting this game at home, this semifinal game at home, which will take you to the championship game at Anaheim Stadium? What's the key? What's, what's so significant about playing at home for you guys? I mean, us playing at home, it just boosts our confidence because we're already comfortable with this place. We, we're used to this grass, and it's just um, all of this – just being home is just great. Excellent. And Keely, let me turn to you real quick once again. You're just a junior, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to know, and I want people to know out here too, and I want you to know that most of what we do here with HSBN, a lot of college coaches keep an eye on this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, they keep an eye on what we say, who we talk to, and that kind of thing. For you personally, what's important or what would be important for college coaches to know about you, Keely Arnold? The uh, I just work really hard, and I really want to get a scholarship out there. So I'm just, I just want to work hard and get an offer. Pretty much, yeah. That's it. Yeah, and and you've done all that, and working hard. How much of that takes over and carries over into the classroom for you as well, too? Uh, school is really important to me because, like, my parents are always on me all the time. So if I have bad grades or something, they'll get on me, and I'll have to bring them up, get my phone taken away or something. So school is a big part of my life. So yeah. You know, obviously just as important yeah. okay and lastly Elijah we, we've talked a number of times and and uh, you know your personality I love the personality of this football team I think you guys have a aura about you and a way of conducting yourselves that you feel confident mm -hmm. and that's so important how important is that now I'll flip over on the other side of the ball how important is that at the corner position that you play I mean if we don't play confidence and it's like we're not playing with anything. We're not playing. If you don't play with no swagger, no, no mojo, you just it's nothing. So like, you got to play with confidence. And I, I know that's something that that you emulate. I see you do it all the time. Uh, these folks, these two here, are, are very key components to this Mission Viejo victory on Friday night. Uh, if it's supposed to happen, I know both guys here think it is going to happen, and that's exactly what they should think. We'll be here to bring you all the sideline coverage and bring you as much action as possible uh, from both sides, and it will be one heck of a game. If you obviously could see the stands now, if we turn this camera around, everything's empty. But this place will not be empty Friday night. It will be wall-to-wall. -wall. People will be expecting one hell of a ball game come Friday night. I know you guys are ready. It's exciting to talk to you guys. 
I appreciate the time that both of you took here to talk with us here at HSPM. We enjoy talking with you, and people enjoy hearing from you as well, too, on this particular channel. This is David Hill with HSPN Sports at Mission Viejo High School concluding practice, one of the few practices left. I know you hope to have a few more left in you uh, come Friday night. Good luck to both of you. Appreciate you spending the time with us. Okay.